making sure to get the ends hot because the ends are always the part that doesn't get hot enough. And then just a little bit of stretching. Heat it a little bit more. I try and get a nice even thickness all the way across. It makes the uh, wigwags come out straighter in the end and cleaner. So just about there on the stretch. Just the last little bit right here. If you see any lumps, you can just kind of heat them up a little bit and gently pull down a little bit. And there we go, stretched out. So I'm going to make a smaller flame here. I like to use the uh, center oxygen on my GTT to tighten the flame up a whole bunch. Make a really nice small flame. A small hot flame. So I start by doing a twist on the end. This is a clockwise twist. Just blew it out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go in close on your torch, so For, don't whip it too far away from the torch, okay? Oh yeah, I'm going to be right here, so. So yeah, getting the smallest flame I can possibly get here. And I'm just going to kind of start right after the twist I made and work my way down. So I don't do a really large twists. They're kind of like really small, short twists and I move right over to the next one after I've done one of them. I just kind of go right down the line. So it's like a twist just a little bit and then move over and twist just a little bit and it seems like each wig or each wag kind of like uh, untwist the one before it a little bit. So I, I kind of over twist each one knowing that when I twist the next one it's going to untwist the previous one a teeny bit. So I'm just continuing down the line. I found that if you take your time making sure each one is straight before you move on, it's, it's easier to just keep them, keep them nice. You don't want to stall too long in between them though. You kind of just keep going and just keep trucking. And it is possible to correct mistakes later, too, if it's a little bit over-twisted or under-twisted in one spot. You can actually go back and fix that. 
just by heating the area and twisting it back. I kind of untwisted this one a little too much, so I just went back a little and fixed it. So I'm coming down to the end here. I'm really trying to be aware of my spacing in between these. I'm kind of bunching it together a little bit as I, as I go down the line. You can see on my, uh, my left side, it's thicker than on the right side. And I do that because it helps me define where to put the next twist. And it also does some of the re-condensing of the section while you're making it, which is very helpful. So as I come down to the bottom here, kind of look and see how much tubing I have left to twist, to wigwag. I've got just enough to do two more twists. I blow out that last spiral just like I did with the first one. And now, now I'm going to gather this whole section back up into a ball. So I turn on outer flame, make it a little bit fluffier. The whole idea here is you want to heat up the area of tubing that you want to recondense but you want to, you don't want to get it too hot you just want to get it to about the right temperature just hot enough to gather it but not not so hot that it's going to untwist or mess up the wigwags that you've done so that's what I'm doing here working about a third of this tubing here puffed it out and uh, as it cools you can kind of see if it needs to be untwisted at all or twisted up a different direction to make it even. I did a few little adjustment twists as it was cooling. And I move on to the next third. I think I do it in about threes and thirds on these smaller wigwag sections.
So I'm sort of adding this next heated section onto what I've already gathered. One more section, and I'll have it partially condensed into a ball. I'm actually going to blow the whole section out into a round, as round as I can make it, a round ball. So, wait for it to cool a bit, see if there's any adjustments. It looks pretty good. So now I'm going to twist this entire section. So I've got my wigwags made. I just heat up the whole thing and give them a little bit of a twist. Not much, a little bit goes a long way on this. If you over twist, you'll lose all of your uh, wigwags. You you won't even see them anymore. So just a little bit of a twist. You can see it starting to twist there. Make sure I get the other end hot too. And there it is. There's the twist. Give it a nice puff. On this one, I'm actually going to shape this one into a bead, but if I wanted to make it a, a ball, I would just take this punty off over here and uh, do a nice clean termination on the end and blow it out into a bubble. I'm tearing off the glass here on this end and I'm actually going to open a hole up on this side over here. We have a piece of six mil. There we go, holes open. Open this up.
try and get a nice even opening to match the rest of the uh, diameter on this. So I'm going to use my marber pad. Just like that. Make sure you wax your uh, tweezer jacks if you have a set. Or if you have a regular jacks, those work really well also. And just a little marb on the end there, even it out. Looks pretty good. Look for stress lines in the glass. We don't see anything. Looks clean. Now I will connect a cold weld. Cold weld is where one is hot and one is just a little bit warm so you can pop it off later. Um, what I like to do is I get something a little bit glowing and I wait for the glow to go away and then get the clear punty nice and hot and then attach it. You want to attach just a little bit after the glow goes away on whatever you're uh, cold welding up to. So I'm just going to open this end over here just like this other side to match. Make a smaller flame helps a little. go. A little bit of a little mark there. Tear that off. There we go. And I'm just going to repeat the uh, same opening process I did on the other side. Use this edge of my marble plate. One more of those and it should be pretty even. Trying to make sure that diameter matches all the way down. Looking for some stress lines and doing one last final polish and it's about done. Just got to take the punty off. Grab some tweezers and heat them up. And then grab the bead. Gently heat it up where you had your punty. And I'm actually going to use the graphite to cool it right where it's connected. And then very gently wiggle it off. And there it is. Do another uh, opening. Polish it, and there it is, all done. Nice wigwag bead. <laughs>